What is this little guy and how do we use it? Still working on the um, uh, Wild Tiger gift boxes. I'm doing uh, two more today. This is a little bit thicker. It's 5 8 thick uh, red oak uh, from a recycled pallet. If you watch the video on the um, Wild Tiger uh, gift packs that I was making, um, I, I used uh, white oak on that one. It was a lot thinner. Regardless, um, so I'm doing the back. My design has um, improved uh, a lot. Um, but I've got this piece here, and I'm trying to uh, basically do a, a dado here in the back. And the issue is this is a um, eighth inch cut with a spiral up cut bit on a router and this is just eyeballed to be about an eighth of an inch uh and like i said it, it was just eyeballed so there's a couple different things we can do to make this fit the easiest one that everybody can probably do if they own a single hand plane um and it probably wouldn't be this one because that's a veritas four and a half and it's very expensive but if you had a regular hand plane say um i don't even know where mine just went i know i'm staring oh there's right right underneath the camera okay so if you had a I think one of the most affordable new quality planes are the, the Stanley Sweethearts. If you get them on Amazon, they're definitely the cheapest. Everywhere else, they're probably about 50 bucks more. Um, it's more than suitable. I just put a 30-degree uh, micro bevel on this today for shooting end grain. If you watch my shooting board video, um, this is what I've been using, and, and I'm really happy with uh, shooting end grain with it. So if you had one plane, this was my first plane. This was my one plane. Um, and now I've got like 60 because it's ridiculous and I got an issue. So um, if you have one plane, obviously the easiest thing you can do is to just lay these face down and get 100 text messages at once. Um, so lay it face down and plane, not this, don't do that. lay this one down. Face down, uh, some sort of hold down device and plane the back of it, okay? And that's going to thin out this tongue for that groove um, that's one way of doing it the other way of doing it would be um, what I was already doing just to clean it up and that's with any sort of shoulder plane it doesn't have to be this Lee Nielsen um, it can be any any plane all right so basically all you do is put this in your vise clamp it I'll turn it this way so you can see it clamp it and then come on here Take shavings until you thin it out to the uh, thickness you want. And then um, also what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that it's squared up. You can square that up while you're at it. So in its final form, I want this to be able to have some left and right movement because it's going to be captive. Um, so the shoulder plane is very, very handy for that. Now, if you have a 78, like a Stanley 78 uh, rabbit plane, rebate plane if you're in England, um, it's basically a, a larger version of the exact same thing. You don't have to have a shoulder plane for that, all right? But the point of this video is this guy, the, uh, you can't read it, it's kind of gunky and I haven't really cleaned that part up yet. The 98 side rabbit plane, okay? So a normal rabbit plane, that's a regular rabbit plane. This is the 78 that I just got done mentioning, okay? It kind of functions very similar to this. Um, it's just a lot older and this cost me $8 and this cost me a lot more, more than 10 times more. So, um, this is a rabbit plane, a rebate plane if you're in England. This is a side rabbit plane and yeah, if you're in England. So, uh, the way this works is, well, I'm left-handed, so it doesn't really work that well for me yet. Um, it's that sort of odd shape to it. Um. According to Stumpy Nubs, you hold it that way, almost like some sort of a pistol, okay? And then you have your side rabbit here, okay? You have your rabbit, and then this cleans up the side of it. Now, they made these in specific directions. They made, uh, there's at least four different models of them out there. There's one going that way. There's one with crossed irons. There's a larger one with crossed irons. There, there's several of them, and the idea was, uh, you know, if your rabbit's on this side, you can clean the bottom of it 
but you can't clean the top of it. So say the top of it is what you need to clean. This one, unless you come back from the back side. Now, if this was already in a cabinet or something like that, you wouldn't be able to. All right, so I'm lucky that these are through dados. The um, front half of this is skewed. So in this situation, it's not assembled yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, uh, plane it out. Plus, with these being mitered, not dovetailed like my other one, they'll be able to go all the way through on the uh, the other one as well, so I don't have to worry about the problem I had with the dovetails. Dovetail is going to be different because you can't data all the way through or you'll be able to see it from the outside, which you usually don't want to see. Okay, So um, let's put this in here. Stick that in there. The idea is that this is going to come up flush. I'm going to go ahead and chamfer that. That's a whole other subject. Okay, so you can see that. I'm trying to get the camera in as close as I can. Um, all right, so I'm going to, I'm holding this backwards, obviously. So all I got to do is come in here and obviously adjust the iron. I just got done sharpening it, so you can see it's very shiny. Ooh, way too far. A little more. Because when I put this box back together, I need to make sure that all of the um, all of the adjustments that I've made are all in the same direction. Otherwise, they're not going to line up, and then I'm going to have to go back in there again and create a bunch of slop. So, as in this one will be a lot of ways to go. So, what I want to do is I want to come up with it because I want this wall, this surface here, to be flush with this surface here. Um, minus the little chamfer I'm going to put in there. So obviously I'll be able to plane this down once I get it done, but I want to minimize that as much as possible. There we go. The other reason you would want one in another direction is uh, the grain orientation. If you're trying to stay with the grain, if you're trying to stay with the grain, um, it's going to be pretty hard if you can only go one way. I can't even hold this thing. It's so low to the table. Back. Oh, look at that. We've got an almost fit. A little bit more on the iron. And last try. All right, there we go. I don't know how well you up on the 98. So obviously that was a, a quick, real quick video on using the 98. Uh, it's pretty cool. This is actually the first time I've had a chance to, to use it. I'm really happy. I, I, I just got it in the mail the other day. Um, I forgot how much, I think it was, I forgot how much the guy was asking, but I love the new make offer feature on eBay. Usually I'm just, messing around with people because they want a hundred something dollars for a plane that's not worth 10 bucks but uh this one i made an offer uh the guy came back with a counter offer that was pretty reasonable and i accepted it and uh it's a pretty cool little tool and i'm really glad i got it so thanks for watching uh like and subscribe check us out on facebook and instagram and all that jazz um and if you see anything you like uh check us out on etsy also thing on this uh 98 that i realized um before i finished filming uh last time I didn't really think about it while I was uh, working with it, but this foot up here at the end, this little bull nose, uh, there's a screw here. And I just assumed that that was to help uh, adjust the mouth in some way, either in or out this way or up and down that way. Um, as you can see looking at it, that's obviously not the case. There's no slot here for left and right movement. It's just a straight hole. Um, so what happens is when you take that out, this little piece here comes off and I had to pry it loose and uh, get some sandpaper in there and some oil. But you take this piece off 
reverse it, this bull nose will tuck into this pocket right here, and this little looks like a screwdriver tip then comes out there. Uh, I did some research online, and essentially what that does is it just lets you get closer in your cut. So if you got a stop data or something like that that you're cleaning up, um, I didn't need it, but I went ahead and looked it up and figured out that. And in the process, I found out that these are commonly found broken. Um, as you can see through the design of this one, even though it took me all that time to set it, um, this groove through the middle of the casting makes that the thin point. So apparently a lot of them are broken in that area and somehow repaired. I don't know how you braze something so small. And then this screw here, uh, I guess, is frequently stripped as well. For whatever reason, I'm perpetually plagued with outrageous technical difficulties. So just to continue with that, um, my voiceover and my camera are both giving me issues right now. My camera keeps dropping frames for no reason, and I've done everything I can to fix it, reformatted it, done all kinds of stuff, and it'll start working again. And then it'll start working, it'll start malfunctioning behind my back when I think I've got everything figured out. And right now, it is literally dropping out and skipping every time I mention the name MH Online Consignments. And that's what I'm trying to talk about here. They sent me the plane. I was cleaning up all my packaging, and I found this in the box and I pulled it out and there was a mint and it said hopefully the sale left a good taste in your mouth and and it did um everything about them was pretty cool the letter the note they included with there so I did wanted to I just wanted to take a time to mention them and say check them out MH online consignments on eBay not sure if they'll have what you're looking for but give them a look anyway I'm giving them five stars and thanks for watching hopefully you like the channel check us out on Facebook and Etsy and all of that and we'll see you next time Thank you.